Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the snow simulation in World Creator. Okay, so I have prepared a terrain for this um, special um, tutorial, so we can make the snow, snow a little bit more obvious to see. So we are adding first a new simulation layer, which is called Snow, just edit. We're going here to show the mask. We don't want to apply snow all over the terrain, so we just click edit, we go to clear, and I'm painting in where I want to have some snow. So this is where the, sh uh, where the snow should fall down. Now we're going to make this visible by uh, adding a material to it. We take white and we drag and drop that on the terrain. Now we have our snow here applied on the terrain. Now we can see what these um, settings do here. So first, um, what we could do is a um, increasing the spawn amount giving more snow um, to the terrain. Um, we have also here an iteration slider that lets you simulate snow. This would be like no simulation and then it starts step by step. We have a uh, global temperature offset. That means that snow um, is going to happen um, uh, at a height uh, level of uh, 100 meters and the uh, global sun is used and the sun temperature is set to uh, 10 degrees so for example if i'm going to move the sun snow will change but uh, let me quickly increase a little bit the sun temperature so we can see that effect a little bit better so we go here to render and now we're talking uh, we're going to move our sun and you can see how the snow de uh, disappears from the sun direction here um, and this is more applied on the back side um, this is also physically based using temperature offsets and all these so um, yeah you need to understand how the system itself is going to work to fully see um, regarding the snow things now <clears throat> we just switching back to the original values here and let's see what we else have we have the precipitation so um, that means um, when does uh, when does snow actually will appear um, if I'm reducing the temperature then of course snow will disappear at specific um, temperatures because the um, offset temperature and the global sun temperature um, are taken into account when uh, performing the calculations I can adjust the uh, powder st uh, uh, stability of the uh, powder snow how that should appear and of course how the strength should be in the, pres uh, in the precipitation as well then we have that melt slider here. Um, it means at which temperature it it will be two degrees here. Um, um, yeah, uh, melting should start. The higher um, it is, the more snow I actually have. The less it is, uh, it means that of course melting appears also for minus degrees. Um, yeah, and then of course the strength, how fast and how um, strong it should melt. The diffusion. Um, is about how to how to uh, move the move the snow at uh, which uh, angle it should start resting and not all interesting uh, nice settings here as well it's a really cool if you're doing sharp edges you could do a higher resting here for example and you get really sharp edges for the uh, for the for the mountainous snow here if you're using that then of course the more blended more smoother it gets. Avalanches are also taken into account when um, when generating the, um, the snow simulation. So the probability is very high. You can see that um, the snow is really flowing down and there are some avalanches that are um, happening. And yeah, things are different in that kind of simulation. Which is important to understand is also regarding the color. If you go here to the simulation, you can adjust how the color is blended. So for instance, you want a very hard coloring, you would do a very low range here, giving you without much of blending of the snow. And the higher it gets, the more you can blend that color depending on the snow. Because, you know, snow uh, thickness is depending on the simulation as well. And how you want to visualize the snow um, really depends on how you adjust it here on the, uh, um, under the um, yeah distribution settings for the simulation coloring. Okay, that's it for the snow. Hope you enjoyed um, 
and make sure to check the other tutorial, uh, tutorial videos as well. Stay safe, have a great day, bye bye.